Holy heart is a very good morning to you. It's Saturday morning and nothing gets past me, you see. And I thought I'll pop up and just see how everybody's getting on on TikTok. Very, very important. So welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure live on TikTok saying dinky do to every single one of you. Saturday morning is a fabulous time. It's one that I know everybody loves to have a little look at the lives and I thought to myself well why don't I pop up and just say hi to everybody because although Scotty McClure might be very very famous there's always going to be some people who are new to the party and would like to say hi so I always say hi to you on TikTok that's the world's great live streaming platform and here we are with Scotty McClure live just for you saying dinky do so a very very warm welcome if you've joined us make sure you follow me please and uh, have a look at all the fabulous videos which are there for your enjoyment and your edification and your delight so there we go just checking that everything's ready here so that you can good see anything that we've got to let you know what is what this morning now just a reminder about Hi, Scotty. How are you doing? Kareem Dinky Doo. Good morning, Sir Star Lord. How fantastic. Hello, Mr. McClure. Wonderful, wonderful. So there we are. Good to have you all with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome on a Saturday morning. I was just going to remind you that all the latest TikToks, the live streams are uploaded to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. So you can get yourself on there 1,200 videos for your enjoyment and delight. There we are. Absolutely incredible. Fantastic. Now then, can you say hi to Darcy? Of course I can say hi to Darcy. Why on earth would I not? So there we go. Fantastic. That's what it's all about, I say. Now then, here we go. Who's joining us? Oh, Phil's joining us, and Big has just joined us. That is tremendous. Thank you very much. If you're joining us, please follow. Very, very important. As I say, thousands watch the lives, but only a handful actually follow. Very, very interesting that. So I'm learning all the time. Beyond tonight, Scotty should do Kareem. Yes, if everything goes well, we'll pop up and say hi. Dinky do, dinky do, Maggie. Lovely to have you with us and hello says Kyle. Hello Kyle lovely to have you with us and dinky do from Scotty McClue popping up live on a Saturday morning just for you on the world's top streaming platform tremendous stuff so there you know. can you say hello to my mate? I can and a happy birthday to George this morning. Happy birthday George. I hope you're enjoying Scotty McClue's live stream just for you fit like Scotty for you day in the day. Alana fit like for your dudes and uh, lovely to hear you is are you just buttering a rowy? There we are. A wee buttery there. Fantastic. Got to go. We're privatizing a coal mine. Oh good for you. You enjoy that Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> it was my birthday yesterday, says Heizel. Good one, Heizel, dinky do. There's J Dog, dinky do, Scotty. Good morning. Morning, J Dog. Lovely to have you with us. And thank you for joining in the live. Yes, absolutely, because I know you are a busy man and your Saturdays will be at a premium. I see. Now, guys, as I say, if you've just joined us, remember you can subscribe to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. There we are. The important bits, Scotty McClue 1. YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue 1. And there's 1,200 videos on there for your perusal and enjoyment. So do enjoy that. Also, you will see that we've got uh, the latest lives from TikTok are uploaded to the YouTube channel. <coughs> My weekends are maxed out with work. Absolutely, J Dog. I am not surprised. You have a busy day ahead, Scotty. Very busy day, Kareem. Every day is a busy day, as they say. <coughs> now, what content do you make? We uh, make everything, so you can see it on the uh, the TikTok lives. Very, very unusual. 
So there we are, because I am the world's top broadcaster, and uh, I am the first lord of the internet. So there you are. Fantastic. Um, link your YouTube channel to TikTok. I think it already is, isn't it, Mr. Lol? So there we are. Do check. Um, but uh, how would I go about checking that? Your YouTube channel with the live streams isn't linked to your lives. Ah, how do we do that then, Mr. Lol? A bit of advice from somebody that knows, because McClue is very new to TikTok, you see. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Kareem, thank you for sending me these lovely things. How do I access them? I wonder. So there we are. So how would I link that, Mr. Lol? Give me a little bit of uh, a pointing in the right direction. <laughs> That's what, anybody know how to link your YouTube channel with your lives? There we go. Fantastic. I thought they already were. Dinky do Scotty. Ah, Glenn. Glenn, lovely to have you with us from the Midlands and originally from Sheffield. Dinky do Scotty. Sitting at Craig and Doran with my good friend Rab. A spot of bud watching today. Sounds fantastic. Absolutely. Personally, I don't know how to link it, but you can search it up. Sorry. No, not at all, Mr. Law. You've been very, very good even making me aware of it. How's things, Scotty? Things are outstanding Glen. I thought I'd just pop up early on a Saturday, say a quick hi to everybody and um, check out one or two things. And there already a very fine person has said that I can link my YouTube to my lives. So we'll find out how to do that, you see. FaZe has just joined us. Hi, FaZe. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome on a Saturday morning to Scotty McClue's TikTok Live just for you. Dinky do. I've been told this is the finest live on TikTok. That's a bit of a compliment, surely. So there we are. Fantastic. And uh, things are very good, Glenn. Yes, absolutely. We're just um, all the time new things happening. Plans for today, big boss man? Absolutely, Johnny boy, Johnny. I think it's time to get some moss off the patio at McClure's Towers. Ah, Kamra ha 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 is living. Yes, Mantima, absolutely. Of course, Maha. So there we are. Fantastic. And Koashin, Koashin. Sure. And there we are. Excellent stuff. Falchi, Falchi, Kidamili, Falchi, don't TikTok. I guess Scotch McClure. Wonderful stuff. Uh, Scotty, I drank a wee bit too much port last night uh, with the father uh, feeling it this morning. Oh, long boy, I understand I don't any longer drink alcohol, but port is very, very searching and uh, very pleasant at the time, I say. But you do pay a price. There we are. Hi, big man from Sunny Company. I think with port, you're just meant to have a small glass and then pass it to the left. Is that right? Takes outstanding, Scotty. Do you like it, Glenn? Is it your style? Just a question. Are you having the vaccine, Scotty? Didn't you do? As far as I know, Star-Lord. Uh, so there we are. But I'm a bit too young at the moment to be getting it. But I will probably be on the list. Good morning, Scotty. Heading up to the Isle of Lewis, delivering an 85 ink. TV. Now, what's an 85-inch TV or 85-inch TV? Oh, user, my, that'll cover most of you. So, yes, absolutely. Most of Lewis. Scotty, you're only 21. We are, Glenn. You're quite right. I've just had a very tough life. And it ages you, I think, a little bit. <laughs> Fantastic. And uh, Mr. Max joined us and FIFA has joined us. Welcome, 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 guys. Lovely to have you with us on a Saturday morning on the fabulous TikTok for a bit of a high. Somebody has been telling me, if anybody knows how you link your YouTube channel to your lives, do Tell me. So that's what we need to do. I've got the a tough paper round, long boy. You're absolutely a hundred percent. There we are. I've got the old fashioned bit, you see, which is pretty fail safe. 
but uh, but we do need to know how to link it. I thought you were 20, so Stallard, no, 21 now. Marnie Scotty from Turbolton, Turbolton in Ayrshire. Welcome, Turbolton. Ayrshire is in the house, everybody, and a very fine part of the world it is. So there you are, absolutely. Uh, Tofino has joined us, dinky-doo. I would imagine I won't get the same international lot because of the time difference, and I usually pop up in the evening at 9 o'clock, you'll see. But I popped up this morning, and uh, I thought I'll just say a quick hi to everybody on TikTok and see who is about. We were watching the rugby today. Uh, I'll see if I can manage to dip in long by. Uh, so there. There we are. Scotty, there's no airs and graces with you. What you see is what you get. Glenn, you're 100% correct. There's no time for airs and graces. Star Lord says, I had my vaccine on Wednesday. How did you feel, Star Lord? Tell us more. Hello, says Anonymous. Hello, Anonymous. I hope you go viral. Hi, so. What a lovely, lovely thing to say. There's a little one of me in a blue jumper. It's not a terribly good video. Video. You'll see it on the TikTok videos, and I noticed 8,800 had looked at it. Now, normally I'll get a few hundred, maybe around 1,000, 1,500 looking at some of them, but there's one or two exceptional ones. There's one, if you scroll down, with Andy Murray, and 16,800 have looked at it. Then there's this little one in a blue jumper, very sort of not great quality video, and as I say, 8,800. <coughs> Hello, how are you, says Soph? Hello, Soph. Lovely to have you with us. I felt fantastic after my vaccine on Thursday. Anne-Marie, well done. Kara says, hi, how's you? As I'm under clinically vulnerable. Ah, I understand, Starlord. So there we are. Yes, I hope we go viral as well. It's all to do with you guys helping, though. Lots of likes, lots of following. It's the old firm tomorrow, Scotty. What do you want to win? Well, Glenn, I don't really mind. May the best team win. Because I've been explaining to people you can change from Celtic to Rangers. Uh, if the other one's not suiting your Rangers to Celtic. Good morning, sir. How are you this fine day? Says our tractor, John. Tractor John, lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. Uh, I feel tired, a dead arm and headaches, but in all I feel fine. Star Lord, you are marvellous, marvellous stuff. That's what it's all about. So they are, user 315 has joined us going, whoa, what's this? <laughs> I know it's early for some of you on a Saturday morning to be looking at a TikTok live, but I felt it was good for you to know that Scotty McClue's about and that you can come and join us. Hello from Hungary, says Sarantz. Sarantz, lovely to have you from Hungary. Welcome, welcome. Absolutely. Scotty, are you mainly a rugby man? I am, Glenn, yes. I don't really know enough about football. You know, I've only been to about four matches. <laughs> First one when I was about 40. Well, sorry, 20, 21. So there we go. Fantastic. Are you a laird? Well, it looks like you are in that picture behind you. Well, we don't go into all that. Nothing socially divisive, you know. <laughs> Tractor John, I am a human being. I'm a human being. That's what it's all about. Small man has just joined us, dinky do. Lovely to have Sir Rance with us from Hungary. Happy weekend, Scotty, from Rogi in Belfast. Rogi, how you getting on there? Lovely to have you with us, I say. So there you go. Rogi is in Belfast in the N of I. We like that, Rogi. Lovely to have you with us, I say. Who else have we got here? Enjoy the weekend, son. Thanks, Sean. You too, son. You take care of yourself. Lovely to have you with us. Fantastic. Chloe, dinky -do. There's one or two people just, uh, they've joined us, which is lovely, and they're pushing off now. Quite right. I do understand, because people have things to do. But new people are also joining us all the time, I feel. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, back to work. Have a good day, sir. Tractor John, dinner work too hard, and make sure all the furrows, the furrows are straight, straight as a die. 
Good morning, Scotty, says the real straight. Absolutely. Lovely to have you with us, Scotty. I'm going to try and recover before the rugby starts. Enjoy your weekend. You too, long boy. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. ta la as we say to the very best. Enjoy the nice weather while we still have it. Star-Lord, absolutely. You get out and about, or out and about, as we say in Scotland. I'm going to be pushing off in a few minutes anyway. I just popped up to say a quick hi to everybody. And uh, wish them a very, very good weekend, a lovely Saturday morning, that sort of idea. There's the hip-hop guinea pig. So there we are. The real cash pull. Good morning, Scotty Dinky too. Scotty, Six Nations, England ain't doing so well. Uh, you guys in Wales beat us. We play Ireland today. Glenn, we'll see how it goes. There's always surprises. What's up, Scotty? Terby. How lovely to have you with us, Terby. Terby, nice to have you with us. Terby, nice. Terby, nice to have you with us. And uh, out and about, we're out and about. Absolutely, out and our boot. We sip of the water from a clue. Ragnar says, Hi, Scotty, I ran six kilometers in 30 minutes. Wow. Fantastic. My car doesn't even do that. So there we are. Shared the live. Thank you very much, Dylan. Uh, Tony, Tony Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClue's live on TikTok just for you. Uh, who else have we got? Everybody's following. Thank you, guys. Please do follow because I notice everybody watches, thousands of you watching some of the TikTok lives. We're 13,000 one night. You know, I mean, fantastic. Hi from Glasgow, says Andrew, but only a few hundred are joining us. What's happened to YouTube? YouTube's fine. The Scotty McClure YouTube channel. There, it's there for everybody. Go and subscribe. Yes, I could do with another dozen subscribers this morning. That would be fantastic. Morning, Jimmy. Morning, dogs. Morning to your dogs. Hi. Hi, Dugson. Uh, thanks for following, guys. Very, very much appreciated because this is very, very big. I've been told it's the best TikTok live. Scotty, the form book goes out the window. Anyone can win a game. I love an underdog winning. Oh, yes. I mean, any time England wins, I think, well, the underdog are winning. You know what I mean? Whereabouts in Scotland are you from, Jackie? Virtually all of it, to be quite honest. The whole lot. Morning. Morning, everybody. Morning. Lovely to have you with us. Ralph. There's Ralph has joined us. Uh, so there we go. AJ, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo on a Saturday morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How fantastic is this? It's a totally different time to the time I would normally pop up on TikTok, but it's lovely to see who's about. I feel like Crocodile Dundee. Let's see who's about. Have you ever been to Cumbernauld? What's it called? There we are. Absolutely, of course I have. Abram Hill. Fantastic. I've been watching the cricket in India recently. Real, I don't get time to see the cricket, unfortunately. Are you okay, says Chiz? Chiz, I've never been more okay in my life. It's incredible. So dinky do, and I've had a tough life, you know. Oh, yes. But then we mustn't grumble, you know what I mean? <laughs> mustn't grumble. Do you like my flowers? My wee dog of 14 and a half years passed away a couple of weeks ago, sadly, and a lovely neighbor sent me tulips, and they've been up there a week, and they're doing very, very well. Uh, hello, Scotty. Hello, Charlie. Lovely to have you with us. Dinky doo, dinky doo to you, Seagull. Seagull, excellent. Good to know you're joining us. Scotty, Scotland have only won one game in the Six Nations. It was against England. Uh, there, yes, but I mean, Scotland now. They're, they're, they're outstanding, you know what I mean? So there we are. So the other teams have to come up to that. That's a cute dog, R.I.P. I thank you, Chis. That's not him. That's Reith. That's the previous one. That's Lord Reith. You'll see Clyde if you go onto the TikTok videos, scroll down, and you'll see him doing an outrun 
Very, very good. Hello, Scotty. Hello, N4. I love your videos, says Charlie. Do you like them, Charlie? Thank you for that, because I know they're not, you know, your usual TikTok stuff. I don't dance a lot. I don't put on loud music in the background. That's an idea, so it's really just a wee bit of banter, you know. Blessed to Clyde. My thoughts with you. God bless. Thank you, Glenn. But he did have a wonderful life. Hello, says Hazel. Hello, Hazel. Lovely to have you with us and a happy Saturday morning. There we are. Welcome to Everyday Kind of Joy. I subscribe to you on YouTube, Seagull. You are very, very kind. Does anybody know how to link the YouTube with the lives? That's what I need to do. I'll go and look. What type of dog was it? Uh, Labrador. Little black sporting Labrador. And you'll see I'm doing an outrun. And you'll notice he's got a slightly dodgy leg because he had a stroke 10 years ago. Well, it's an FCE, a fibrocartilaginous embolism, but uh, but you will uh, be amazed at the speed he gets. Scotty, you're a very charming man. Glenn, so are you. So there you are. Takes one to know one, doesn't it? A gentleman. Another gentleman always recognizes a gentleman. Yes, you see, it's not too much to ask, is it? A bit of manners. Somebody posted the other day and said, uh, it was social media, and they said, what words did you use to hear that you don't hear nowadays? So uh, people were putting in all sorts of amazing stuff, and I put in, please and thank you. <laughs> I cooked pancakes this morning. I was thrilled, but my kids went, uh, oh, no, not funny. Uh, Scotty, you're so funny, says Charlie. I thank you, Charlie. Fantastic. I have to go, but dinky-doo, seagull. Dinky-doo, have a wonderful day. Take care of your fabulous self and enjoy being you. I think that's what it's all about. Thank you for following us, everybody. Thank you for joining. Thank you for liking all the videos. It's been absolutely incredible, the number of people who have joined Scotty McClue's TikTok so there we are. But I need even more of you because everybody watches. We had 13,000 watching one night and um, only a few hundred actually followed. So please do follow. It's very important. So there you are. Your head's close to the camera. No, the camera's close to my head. That's what's happened. Once I used to hear, I don't hear anymore. There we are. It's a bit vile, but um, no, nothing vile about it. Kludgy is one of them. I'm just away to the clutchy. Well, do you know, another one on that vein was the shunky, right? I think it's away to the shunky. And the shunky was shanks of barhead, or borhead, used to do all the vitreous enamel china, yes, the vitreous china, for um, lavatorial purposes. They were one of the biggest companies ever. A Shanks suite was a very sought after thing. Uh, I have one in Sun King, I think it is. And uh, they were known as the Shunky in the West of Scotland, the Shanky. Uh, I've just watched it. The dog was quick, saying it had a dodgy leg. He was chis. You'll see he takes a wee tumble at the end and then he's straight back. And he was just so good. Plus a beautiful, beautiful spirit. Oh, don't you set me off, I say. Now then, fantastic stuff. And lovely to have you with us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us Saturday morning, Scotty McClue, live on TikTok, just for you saying dinky do. So there we are, legend. So there we are, full-blown nutter, Lowry. Thank you very much. I see you've signed your post. Thank you. But I'll take the legend. Hello, friend, there are many... Uh, my name is Lee, and I'm from uh, the Philippines. So there we are. Dinky do Lee. How lovely to have you with us. Welcome and love to the Philippines. Jesus loves you, says the Macha. Uh, Jesus loves you. This I know, for the Bible tells me so. Yes, absolutely. So there you go. Uh, Fraser, that's a wee bit rude. So there we go. Absolutely. You mustn't assume everybody else has your lifestyle. So there we are. Anybody get anything back on the uh, GGs at Cheltenham? Well, uh, no, I don't uh, back horses. You see, I once backed a horse and it fell in the paddock. 
Uh, and I once backed one at 10 to 1 and it came in at 20 to 3. There we go. The Vets Land Rover beat it. So Holland. Ah, yes. Come in to Husa. Vilchu and Kupateheben. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, Dinky Doo Scotty. Says Damien. For music. Damien, Dinky Doo. You're a musician. Scotty, the census tomorrow. What do you think to it all? Very strange, Glenn. Although, I must confess, I like looking back at the census. Was it 1801 it started? And I can see my family. My grandfather was born in 1881. And they had the 1881 census. And he was down there as one. Yes, and all the other children. There was a huge family of them. So there we are. Jesus is a prophet. Not the Son of God. How do you know that, Tolga? You're always bringing out something new, aren't you? There we are, a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. Well, I don't drive either of these. I have two cars, and uh, one's 29 years old, the other's 21 years old, and uh, one is a real proper sports car. It would be described as a gentleman's sporting saloon. Any ideas on that, la? There we are. Uh, if Scotland goes independent, we'll become a third world country. No, the opposite. We're at the moment treated as a third world country, but if we went independent, then economically we would boom. Absolutely fantastic. Boom, boom, bitty boom, I say. Uh, do you think Princess Diana would have liked tick? Talk. I don't know what Diana's views would be on TikTok. I don't know that she would be so impressed with the interview. I'll tell you that for starters. Are you 25? I am indeed. Yes, at least. So there we are. I might be more, but who knows? <laughs> you see, I'm a time traveler, so it's very difficult to put an age on me. How do you like your eggs? Well, Matt, you really... You've just asked an incredible question there because um, I just, any way at all, you know? I mean, I don't do it now, uh, but I used to have a raw egg. Um, I, I don't try that at home if it's for entertainment purposes only. Uh, and the census forms every 10 years. I think there are more than that, Glenn. Oh, yeah, I don't remember a census 10 years ago. There might be 25 years. I'll, I'll find out for you. Anybody know how often the census is taken, guys, for Glenn from Sheffield living in the West Midlands? Um, or just in the Midlands. I don't know if it's the West Midlands. So how do I like my eggs? So I love them scrambled. I love them poached, lightly poached. A wee touch of the old malt vinegar in there. Not the malt vinegar, the... Uh, Thing of my vinegar in there, just a, just a, a touch, and a tiny little bit of pepper. Uh, fried, take a fried egg. You say boiled, take a boiled egg, knock the top off it, and dip your soldiers. There we are, fantastic. Uh, please tell me one of them's a Morris Minor. No, but I did have a Morris Minor, and I loved, loved, loved that car. Had a little starting handle. It was from the days when you turned on the ignition and pulled the starter. It was in that kind of dove grey, you know, that slightly pinky grey. Scotty, would you ever get a Tesla? I would need to look into it. Yes, the Morris Miner was amazing. An E-Type, well, this has got similar power to an E-Type. So there you go. Is it a Jaguar? Oh, Jack, you're getting very warm. Absolutely. Tell Molly to wake up, says to Candan. Molly! Up you get now. It's 10 to 12 in the United Kingdom. <laughs> Shout out to Kaza. So there you are. Do you support homosexuality? Now, how does one support homosexuality? What does that question actually mean? That's a huge question. So I'm just wondering, do you mean, would you lend your support to it? Or uh, or whatever, I just don't know. I mean, it's such a huge question. A very, very interesting. Aye, boom, into smithereens, not a tobos. You go and do your homework, China. Remember, Scotty McClue is apolitical, so I have no axe to grind either way. 
And um, I think that Scotland would do very, very well on its own economically. Remember we sent £75 billion to Westminster. Could you imagine if that stayed in Scotland? Fantastic. Thanks for following, everybody. Please follow me. And uh, economically, would not be stable at all. Scotland spends more money than it makes. No, you see, it doesn't. Uh, so there were Scotland doesn't spend any because that at the moment comes out of the central government. So there, the Jensen Interceptor. Ah, now you're talking. That was a fabulous car. I'm surprised there aren't more of them about. Jensen Interceptor is a beautiful thing. There we are. Rolling Stones of the Beatles. Love them both, Cookie. Absolutely adore them both. My old friend in television, some young men, he was working there in the early 60s, and some young men came into his studio and said, can we sit with you for a bit? We're waiting to be interviewed. He said, of course you can. So they sat with him and he chatted away to them and they diddled on paper and uh, it was the Rolling Stones. <laughs> Tell Molly from Donegal to wake up. I'll have to shout to Donegal. <laughs> Get away. Up with you now. Come on. And you'll be getting no salt fish. Scotty, the next Doctor Who. You know, Glenn, I think I would make a fabulous Doctor Who. Get the, get the bow tie on. And the bonnet. Yes, I, I think it's a long shot because they like choosing well-known actors. So there we are. So what have you got there? Uh, is that you in the picture? It is. Yes, that's me in the picture. Absolutely. Uh, where are you from? Oh, I'm from the universe. Yes, I'm from TikTok. So there we are. Scotland doesn't spend more than it makes with no borrowing powers. Yuri, spot on. You tell him because he's obviously a dafty. What do you love doing like a hobby? I love live streaming on TikTok to talk to interesting people like you. That's what I do, Lee. It's absolutely incredible. The, uh, the last one was 2011, the last census. Gosh, I couldn't remember that. Ten years, every ten years for the census. What's your favorite food? I have so much favorite food. Yes, absolutely. Black pudding, what's your opinion? Outstanding. Outstanding, Damien. Yes, you can't beat a bit of uh, Stornoway black pudding. Uh, would you skull a pint of Guinness? I have in my day sculled a few pints of Guinness, but I don't skull any alcohol now. I skull the water. <laughs> but top of the morning, she Dylan, I'll tell you now. Uh, what you would do, if you go right down, down where I love, down to the Ring of Kerry, down to Clonakilty, down to County Cork, that sort of stuff, you'd pop into the pub, you say, a uh, point of Guinness, please. Uh, I'll just do a, a little bit of shopping. Yes, of course, of course. And then I'd come back in about uh, maybe 20 minutes, and it would just have settled beautifully on the bar. Am I talking sense, guys, or am I talking sense? Do tell. There we are. Thanks for following us. I'm a time traveler. Yes, I'm a time traveler, Liam. So I can go from thousands and thousands of years. So fix that accent. SM, what would you like to hear? We can do you any accent you like. There we are. What are your pronouns? You never, ever, ever ask anybody the pronouns. Do you vote SNP? Um, I'm apolitical, so I vote what's best for the country. There we are. Thanks for following us, guys. Very important. Scotty McClue, the next Doctor Who. Dinky-doo. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Dinky-doo. I thank you. What a kind thing to say. A triumph. What's a Triumph, Liam? Do you mean a Triumph car? A Triumph motorcycle? A Bonneville? A Triumph 2000 Mark I? That was a great car. Could have done with the power steering, I have to say. It was a brute of a thing to, to manoeuvre. I'm from Australia. My name's Alicia. Nice to meet you. Militia in Australia. My name's Scotty McClue. Lovely to meet you. Dinky doo from down under. And good day. Lovely to have you. The Wizard of Oz. Please shout out. So there we are. Uh, is it a sab? It's not a sab, but sab. I have had a sab. 
and some are very, very fine motor cars, beautifully engineered, because of course, am I not right in thinking in Sweden, Svenska, Saab used to build aircraft. Am I right? Have I got that right? There you are. Everybody's following us. I loved the Saab two-stroke and the old uh, 95s and things like that. Was there a 94? 95. And the column change on the Saab freewheeling as well. I'm sure there was a freewheel on the Saab 95. Yes, Scotty, I've just looked up online. It's every 10 years. Every 10 years. Wow. Hi, you look like a young Saul Campbell. I thank you. Do you support the SNP? Well, I am, as I say, I'm not political, so I don't support any particular party, but I do support what's best for my country. That's the thing, very much so. Follow the host, you see, I'm a very selfless person. A Rolls Royce. It's not the Rolls Royce, but um, I am familiar with the Rolls Royce. The old 4.6, uh, straight 6, the uh, V8, 6.7. Now you're talking. Uh, yes, yes, we only get 30 billion from central government, Chinsmen, you see, and we send 75 billion down. So there you go. Have you ever been to Orkney? No, little miss, but I would love, 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 love to go to Orkney and see all the Arcadians. I really, really would. Scotty, it's Darren in Nottingham. Good to see you again. Darren, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, Medicine Man says, good morning. Guys, have you all followed me and have you subscribed on YouTube? Does anybody know how to link your YouTube to your TikTok lives? Anybody got an idea on that one? It's okay, my beard doesn't connect either. Well, you see, I've thinned mine because I was really like Santa Claus. Do you know what I mean? It was big, big stuff. So there we are, Gextrud, uh, as followed as Dinky Do. I remember you officially, thank you. You're an amazing actor. Uh, thank you, Charlie. You are a very, very kind man. Charlie Hunt, Charles there. You're a beautiful man, says officiality. What a lovely, lovely thing to say thank you. Very much appreciated. You're a beautiful person for saying that. You sound like Boris. Wow, that's a, that's quite a thing, isn't it? Quite a compliment. He's not even reading real comments. Wow, is that right, your ha? Well, I've just read yours, so you saying your comment's not real. Tut, tut, tutity, tut. Tot, 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 tot. <laughs> Your eyes look beautiful. I thank you. What a lovely thing to say. So there we are. You're all very, very kind. How old are you? Well, it's difficult to tell because I'm a time traveler, you see. So I could be very, very young or very, very old. I could be thousands of years old. We don't know. Methuselah, I think, was only 963. Is that right? And he was the oldest guy in the world. Could you say your gig is cool? Well, I probably could, yes. I think it's a very cool gig. France or Wales? Oh, well, we love Wales. You see, I don't uh, have any French male voice choirs in my music collection. See, there's my music collection. And I don't have any French male voice choirs in that. Do you have a dog? I, I had a dog till a fortnight ago. Uh, so there, sadly, he passed on. Scotty, there's a gentleman on TikTok called Pete who sings. Do you ever browse? Um, I had a wee look last night. I must confess, I wasn't over impressed by some of the lives. You know, and I've been told I've got the finest live. <laughs> Somebody, a <well>, proposal of marriage. <laughs> you made my morning. Scotty, it's Darren from Nottingham. I know Darren. I spoke to you. Hi, says Mother Glasgow. Hi to Mother Glasgow. Uh, best for the country is the SNP. Once Indies achieve, you can vote for whoever you want. I see what you mean, Yuri. Do you think Scotty McClue should go into politics? So there we are. What's your favourite accompaniment with a cup of tea or coffee, Scotty? Depends what time of the day. I haven't had coffee for 39 years, I think it is this year. I think it's 39 years. Either 38 or 39 years since I last had a coffee. But uh, with a cup of tea, depending on the time, a little bit of buttered fruit scone, 
uh, very, very nice. Uh, tea and toast. A little bit of toast in the morning, very nice. I say, are you a farmer? I'm not a farmer, Louis, but I've been told I'd be a mortal gooden. So there you are. So are you crops or are you beasts? They did in this, Scotty, not so much aircraft, but pieces of aircraft. Ah, Yuri, yes, the Saab Company. Wonderful, but their cars are outstanding. There was a two-stroke, and you could hear that coming, I can tell you. Hi from Aberdeen. <coughs> Hi to Aberdeen, and fit like this morn. Can I get can a falcon hear the deer? Oh, fit. Now, what have we got? 91 is the standard fuel. 91, the Saab 91. Right, what was the two-stroke? So there we are. There's somebody saying, telling me I'll be dead next week. Wow, very, very interesting. That's very interesting. Thank you. So you obviously have experienced this before. There we go. Hi from New Zealand. Uh, all the dafties are coming out now. Hold on. I've just dumped this guy here. There we are. All right, just dumping a wee, a wee dafty, <laughs> a wee dafty that doesn't understand quality. It's funny, they must be used to certain TikToks just being junk, and then they stagger on a bit of quality and they think, no, we just post what we do all the time, and it doesn't work, you know? There's that sort of idea. Yes, that's our first trial this morning, guys. Did you like the Ford Cortina, the Ford Anglia, and the Mark II Escorts? How about the Zephyr Zodiacs? I loved them all. One of my friends, VSC, had a 1953, was it a 53 or a 52? It was a 53 Mark One console. My uncle had the Mark II console. Then you were into the Zephyr and Zodiac of the... Uh, Z cars fame with the sharp wings at the back. Lovely cars. And a lot of footballers drove them and things like that. They were very swish. And there was a Ford called the Executive. Then you had the Anglia 105E. And then before that, you had the little sit up and begs in the mid 50s. You had a popular and you had an Anglia. But the center of gravity was quite high and if you cornered badly you could actually tip them so there you are that was the 1950s we jalopies they were very very good though great little motor cars so there we are uh glenn's telling me he's read online about a famous actress leaving cory she's very very good yes greetings from glasgow mother glasgow we thank you very very much for that, there's that wee spammer away. I love your beautiful eyes, Taylor. You say lovely things, I thank you. So there we are. Would you ever come to New Zealand? I wonder, do you have talking shows on the radio in New Zealand? And are you North or South Island? There we are. Fantastic. And uh, do you want your YouTube posted onto your TikTok? Yes, how do we do that? So there we are, dinky do big chungu. Uh, lovely to have you with us. Hello from Brownville in dinky do our slicker. Lovely to have you with us. Brownville, Massachusetts, am I right? So there we are, ignore the trolls. He's not answering me. Muggle, of course I'm answering you. Absolutely, Taylor, what a lovely thing to say. Do you have a map? I keep it getting lost in your eyes. Scotty, embrace your age. I do. I do. I thought I shall just grasp the nettle and go on TikTok. Absolutely. So there we are. Uh, so who else have we got? Sorry about the dog, buddy. Thanks, Ivy. Very much appreciated. But he was a beautiful, beautiful spirit. And he will be in spirit land, uh, running about at Rainbow Bridge with Old Reith and everybody else. So there we go. I'm also a Scotsman. Says, eh, what? <laughs> How's lockdown for you? Well, I'm still in lockdown. We're in lockdown, I think, for about another four weeks. So there we are. Any winners at Cheltenham? Not for me. There we are. I used to give a lot of money to sick animals, but I didn't know they were sick when I backed them. Uh, we're making our own bread and scones. Plain fares best. Ted, you're 100% Ted Doddy. Good for you. 
Listen, Skyline R32, lovely. I only just met you, and you're already my favorite person on TikTok. Ivy, you say such lovely things. You're very, very welcome. Have a look at all the videos, because they're just different. That's why the trolls don't really fit in here, you know. Hello, Scotty, you're looking swell today. I thank you very much. Thank you, Kura. What a nice thing to say. Shout out to me, please. Dracos, a big shout out to you, please. Uh, has everybody followed me, please? Shout out to James. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. The Mark III Cortina. Yes, that wasn't my favorite, but it was a great thing to drive. You know, it was like, did you ever come across the later Vauxhall VX 490? They were fabulous to drive as well. So there we are. What's in your hat, Scotty? Scotty McClure badge, can you see it there? I'll come up to the camera. There are, and I have one left here, you see. Scotty McClure badge. So there it is for you. Let's see, get that up, that. That's how you better, isn't it? Scott O'Clair, I think you know. Uh, yes, on the radio there. Fantastic. Please shout out to the trackers. Glasgow or Edinburgh? Oh, love them both. Absolutely. I'm in Glasgow at the moment, you know. And I've always said, where would we be without humor? Edinburgh? No, no, Tizzy. Since you're a time traveler, does that basically mean you were born with the dinosaurs? Yes. I was born with a one-eyed dinosaur known as Jathinkisaurus. So there we are. Absolutely. Queen of the South to win at Greenwich. Please today, Scotty. Mon the Ton. And the QS, of course. Uh, Ford Capri. Ah, now you're talking. 27 and read a book on how to upkeep them mechanically. Uh, 14. Now, the Ford Capri actually did a 1300. But I think they did a 1600. I think they did an 1800, and they might have done a 2-litre. Was there a 2-litre Ford Capri? The Ford Capri was the sought-after car of top DJs when I was DJ in the early days. What are your pronouns? Ellie, you never ask anybody their pronouns. Do you want to be a part of the UK? Well, the problem is I don't think the UK wants Scotland to be a part of it because it doesn't treat Scotland very well. You know, they're a little bit rude and a bit scathing to Scotland, and they shouldn't be. So there we are. Hey, from Portugal, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. And uh, I love, I love Portugal. Do you know Faro? And do you know Albufeira? And do you know Cape St. Vincent? Oh, sitting at Cape St. Vincent on a Saturday evening, Looking out to sea was where I decided what I wanted to do with my life. Is that not amazing? So there we are. Do you want to be, ah, do you want to be a part or do you want to be a part? I see what you just did there. Very clever. Don't call me a troll. Didn't call you a troll, Ellie. You should be a narrator. I thank you, Ginks. That's a lovely thing to say. Bonjour. Bonjour, ça va? Oui, je regrette, mais je ne parle pas français très vite. Si tu parles lentement, peut-être je comprends. Oui? Passionate Highlander, absolutely. Hello from Harrow in North London. We love Harrow. Dinky do. <laughs> I remember a guy saying he was from Harrow's school and he said, I'm from Harrow. And this chap said, whereabouts in Harrow? <laughs> We love it, and we love North London. Thank you, do. Fantastic. Do you listen to drill? Uh, yes, it depends what you're drilling. Sometimes I put my ear muffs on. There we are. Hello, mate, it's me again. Hi, Jay. Can you say hello to Michael? Of course I can say hello to Michael. Passionate Highlander or no? Everybody's a passionate Highlander, John. You can't be a Highlander without being a passionate Highlander. The two are absolutely, inextricably linked. So there we go. Hello there. Hello, Dotcha. Lovely to have you with us. And thank you. Guys, thanks for following us. Shout out to Ross. Yes, indeed. Uh, ears up. Absolutely. Now then, who have we got here? My neighbor had a Moscovich on ramps for most of its life. 
Yes, yes, there were a few Moscovich on ramps. Absolutely. Hello, old fella. Hello, old boy. How are you, Josh? My dad had a Capri. We like the Capris. Hi, from Stornoway. Hi, Kamra. Ooh, Hakama. Lovely to have you with us. Did you go to the Nicholson? Yes, Koashin. Have you ever heard of the Barnet formula? Heard of the Barnet formula? I remember the guy that actually made the formula up. Lord Barnet, Joel. He was a, a governor of the BBC. There we are, quite a character. But the Barnet formula's way, way, way passe. Absolutely. Shout out to Ross Logan, he's a massive fan. It's a round harrow. We love that. Yes, welcome. I uh, can't believe you're still in the go. Oh, GM. Very much still in the go. And a lot more to do. Yes, there's some big stuff in the pipeline for McClue. This man is nothing but the best. Ex Josh, you say lovely things. Loved your show back in the Radio Clyde days. Yes, absolutely, Johnny Boy. Radio Clyde, the Clyde Kelly. On a Saturday night, six o'clock sharp, through until eight here. They did late the day, they day. And of course, Scott FM. Scott FM was Scotland's finest radio hour. Hi from down under in Australia, Adam. Good to have you. Fair Dinkum Cobber. Welcome, welcome, I say, and good day. Lovely to have you with us. So now, what have we got there? Can I, you'll have to go, you're on the wrong stream. You get yourself onto something where the other simpletons are. Wonderful stuff. I'm just saying bye to Cano. Okay, Cano. Very, very good. There we are, Dafty. Right. Fantastic. Now then, Bishopton boy, Scotty's back in town. Johnny boy. I used to enjoy a pint in the Golf Inn. Do you remember the Golf Inn? Scotty McClure, show waffles here too. Dinky do show waffle. Lovely to have you with us. And hi, shout out to the boys, says Jackson. Love your accent, chap. Hey, bestie, dinky do. You're all very, very kind. Can I join the live? I dare say. Could you say hi to my wee mammy, Britty Carrick? She loves you. Scott Daniel, I can do. And hi to Britty. Dinky do pretty. Now, fantastic. Uh, and uh, thanks for following us, guys. Lovely to have you with us. Why do I have to rhyme it? Your name's very rhyme friendly. Free Waffle is very rhyme friendly. I mean, Scotty McClue is here for you saying dinky do to every single one of you. Woohoo! Golf was a great pub, sadly no more. We loved it, yes. Uh, Big Eric, I liked Big Eric as well. Scotty, you're broadcasting 24-7 now, lad. The Happy Squirrel. We thought we'd pop up Happy Squirrel just to see who's about on Saturday morning and say dinky-doo. See, it's a great rhyme. Oh, you're brilliant, mate. Broadbeans, thank you for coming and joining us. Dinky-doo. Welcome, welcome. Guys, follow me, please. Have a look, share me, tell all your fellow TikTokers, do you watch Scotty McClue's live on TikTok? I tend to pop up at nine in the evening, but I think you'd pop up any time. Uh, Betty Carrick, thank you, lol. Betty, yes, dinky do to Betty. You look like good night, Mr. Tom. I thank you. Uh, that was the most outstanding movie. John Thaw was a wonderful actor. Watching the rugby later? Are you telling me you're all you're asking me? Yes, I'll um, I'll dip in and out of the rugby. Remember back in the day, I called into your shows for a mention for the young team. I do, I do absolutely club and lang. Watching the rugby, I live in rugby. Ah, Shrill Waffle, Rugby Midland. Yes, where the BBC transmitters are. It was a good film, oh, CJ. Very, very moving. Just about to visit my daughter's wee car. I'll be broadcasting you throughout the Mairns, the happy squirrel. You do the nicest things. Uh, can you shout out to Scott? He's my best friend. He's in hospital at the moment. I can, Jack. Absolutely. So there we are. Rugby Midlands. No one ever knows where it is. Think I live in a sport. No, my straw hat in 1970 was flung out a train window by somebody uh, on the way to Austria at Rugby Midland. 
So if anybody's ever found a straw hat near Rugby Midland, it's Scotty McClure's. Do you enjoy classical music? Who's your choice? Oh, Teddy, you've really got me there. I love Haydn, the Clock Symphony. Very nice. Vivaldi, the Four Seasons. Beethoven, fantastic. Handel, Mozart. There we go. All of them. Edward Elgar. Yes, Chanson de Matin. And uh, where in Austria did you go? We went to up into the mountains near Salzburg. So we went to a place called Fuschel am See. Anybody know Fuschel? It's beautiful. Nicholas Sturgeon doesn't make the Scots and the English relationship any stronger. Uh, no, neither does uh, Westminster, I have to say. So we need to get a good bit of chat. If it was me, I would have open line chat, but that wouldn't mean we weren't going independence if the people chose so to do. Dinky do, Scotty. What's your favorite historical fact? <laughs> I think I love that everybody talks about America, excuse me, uh, America as being a republic. And... It's quite little known, but the Americans approached Scotland's Bonnie Prince Charlie, Charles Edward Stuart, to ask if he would consider becoming their king after independence. Now, not many people know that, <laughs> as our old friend Michael Caine would say. So there we go. Uh, my family is near Graz, not been there, but been to Salzburg. It's such a beautiful, stunningly beautiful country. Austria, Austrich, Austrich. Tokyo's here, Tokyo's in the house in Japan. Welcome, welcome, lovely to have you with us from Tokyo. Absolutely, dinky do. Now, uh, a very, very warm welcome, guys. International, of course, dinky do, Scotty, says schmeek. Shriek, lovely to have you with us and welcome. Opinions on the IRA? The IRA is passé because um, it's all sorted, you know. Uh, so anything now would be just people with time on their hands who, uh, you know, are a little bit misguided. There is no requirement for any terrorist organization. My mum's name is Heidi. My name moved to England after the war. Lovely, Heidi. We like that. Very, very nice. My nan, or my nan, yes, absolutely. Uh, United Ireland, Independence Scotland. Now, you see, you don't need to say that now because that's all, that's all over. Do you see what I mean? That's all finished. And Ireland itself, which I know every blade of grass, is such a stunningly beautiful country, full of beautiful people, as is the North. But you see, Ulster's not six counties. I always had it down as eight. Somebody informed me the other night, Ulster is nine counties. So I need to look into that. But there certainly shouldn't be any differences nowadays. There shouldn't be, hey, hey, this lot, that lot. Do you know what I mean? Everybody should be standing together. You know, because if you think about it, the religion that's ostensibly different is the same religion. You know, it's Christianity. So there we are. So there should be terrific warmth between Protestants and Catholics, Roman Catholics. Terrific warmth and understanding. Religion has never, ever, ever, ever caused a problem in the world. But what has caused a problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding. And as long as you have hatred in your heart, you will never unlock the key to love, the key to knowledge and understanding. Yeah, there is no place for hatred. What in the history class is this? Just be yourself. There's always a bit of history, a bit of anything going down on a Scotty McClue TikTok live. We will discuss the lot. 100% no need for violence. One island, one island. If that's what the people want, 
Yes, nowadays there is absolutely no uh, anathema between the two. So there you are. So it's just not a problem. I can remember having an ice drink in Cork and I said that the next day I was going to the north and would I be stopped at the border? And an old gentleman said to me, there's no border nowadays. Nobody bothers with any of that. So there we are. So define hate speech. Hate speech is speech that is a lack of understanding. Yes, absolutely. But it's very interesting because also, as you know, I am a huge advocate of free speech. But with freedom comes responsibility. I don't think you need acts defining hate speech. So I think, remember, you can never, ever give offense. Somebody has to take offense. And if you're strong in your belief and your faith, you never, ever, ever need to take offense. Now, there's a guy called Kieran, and he's shouting out a slogan that might have been relevant um, probably up until about 1980, and now has virtually zero relevance. Because, Kieran, your day has come. Trust my clue. He knows his stuff. So there we go. Uh, if you vote Sturgeon, there'll be a bottle. Listen, you're talking nonsense, Carol. And you would never be voting for one person. You're voting for things that you believe in. There won't be any borders. There's no need for hard borders. I don't uh, hold with all that. So there you are. So... Well, it's not Kieran, it's clear, I think. So, clear. you don't ever need to shout that again. That's you done your last one. Okay, what, says Kieran. So, there we are. And uh, who have we got here? Uh, Scotty, do you think, um, thinking the first minister should say, we need to have a look at what's actually going on. Yeah. So there we go. And uh, also, in actual fact, it shouldn't be politicized at all. This is what we're talking about is effectively parliamentary procedure. So you shouldn't have any opposition shouting out, right? It's It shouldn't be. It should be depoliticized. Yeah, somebody said, no, no, we're discussing parliamentary procedure. So there we are. So clear. Uh, that's enough spamming, and that's the last time you ever need to say that. You know, isn't that lovely? Do you like Clint Eastwood? I don't just like Clint Eastwood. I adore his work, and I think he's a lovely guy as well. So there we are. If you vote SNP, you'd be using the euro, your money behind us. Danny, you don't have to talk a lot of pony. You really do rhyming slang. Check it out. You talk pony, right? You can use any currency you choose. Even the governor of the Bank of England admitted that you could use uh, that. You know, anything you choose. Remember, Scotland had to seriously devalue the pound Scots to facilitate economic union in 1707. So, you know, uh, you don't need to be using, you know, your money wouldn't be pointless at all. So everything you've said in that post is just nonsense. Not a jot of truth in it. You've had your head stuffed with rubbish. Now you can get the facts from Scotty McLean. There we are. Uh, anyway, I'm off. Era 90, off you go. And of course, there's none of that. So there you go. You're just talking complete nonsense. You know, we know that one has had it and the other, anybody's welcome if you are a genuine Irish person. So there we are. So that's the thing. Everybody's welcome. There you are. Absolutely, Luke, you're quite right. You can't choose the pound. Why not? Why can you not use the pound? Who's saying you can't use the pound? Of course you can. And you could peg your currency 
to the pound. So you could bring in the pound Scots. Ireland, I can remember touring Ireland, and they had their own currency. They had the punt, the punt, and it worked absolutely fine. Uh, so there we are. She should resign. High-ranking MPs voted five to four. She was led. That's a big deal. Yeah, but I mean, five to four. Mm, so that means also four to five, you see? So obviously there's something of a dichotomy there. And remember, that's a committee thinking. There's still to be independent judgment. So we'll see what's what. Hello, Mr. Clue, your friend Mr. Mac here. Hello, Mr. Mac. Lovely to have you with us. Do you know anything cool about the samurai in Japan? Their swords are very impressive if somebody's into weaponry. If you join the EU, you have to use the euro. Uh, well, we were in the EU for 50 years, Danny, and never used the euro. So again, you're talking Pony, there we are. Uh, you, you, I mean, uh, you think before you write nonsense. Are you for Scottish independence? I'm for what's best for Scotland. There we are. And uh, economically, Scotland could be outstanding. Scotty, a pint of lager in Roman times was two drachmas. Is that right? Do you know that would make, let's say... So that would be five pounds. So the internet in Roman times would be about maybe 10 drachmas a month if you were on the internet. So there we are. The SNP are pro-EU. You join again. Be pointless with the euro. Um, no, not the SNP are pro-EU. The Scots are pro-EU. So it's not just... The SNP are pro you. Remember, four countries were dragged out of Europe, three against their will. S almost 70 million people were robbed of their EU citizenship for absolutely no reason, just to help a few Hooray Henrys out. So, you know, so you've definitely been had there big time. We've spent £200 billion on Brexit to date with absolutely nothing to show for it. And we have no trade policy and the trade agreement with the EU's in trouble. You know, so somebody's made a wee boo-boo there, haven't they? Celtic Rangers, John's looking for some advice on who to support here. John, what I would suggest, watch them both play. You'll hopefully get a chance tomorrow and um, make up your mind which one you want to follow. And remember, it's not cast in stone. You could be a Celtic man, and you might suddenly decide to follow Rangers instead, but you will need two scarves, and uh, I would keep the other scarf tucked away if you're up the other end. You know what I'm saying? It's a big deal. The BBC won't shout about that. Uh, no, the BBC are not shouting about it because the clue is in what the letters stand for. So there you are. So have a wee think. What do these letters stand for? Yes, absolutely. Do you like Iron Brew? I do. Are you a historian? Very much so. T2? Yes. I can tell you most things that went on and from several different sources. So I've avoided any form of brainwashing or head stuffing or nonsense. I will give you the facts. Yeah, and then you can decide. See where I'm coming from. See what I just did there. No, I'm not all new members now. Have to use the euro. Look into it. Danny, what you're forgetting, if you're thinking in joining a group like the UK begged and begged and begged to join the, the EU or its equivalent, the EC, the common market. And they were told, no, 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 said President uh, Charles de Gaulle. Charles de Gaulle said, no, to roast beef for joining. And uh, then eventually we got in, otherwise we'd have been bust, because we'd bust ourselves with the Second World War. 
you see. You've got to look at the facts, Danny. So 50 years of peace and prosperity. We did very well. We've virtually redone all our infrastructure on European money. Scotland's done extremely well out of Europe. Yes, anybody remember the Killer A9, the old road? All that sort of stuff. And we have wonderful infrastructure, courtesy of the EU. There we are. There was no reason to leave. It's our EU, along with our dear friends and allies, Germany, would control 30% of the whole market of 510 million people. And uh, what did we got? 58 countries, was it? Is that right? Have I got that right? Uh, ban the haggers! Never! I had to start valeting my daughter's car to, to say Danny's talking from his bahuki. The happy squirrel, you did well to stop valeting your daughter's car. I do hope Danny didn't hold you up, because wasters can do that. The Irish would take a pound sterling in preference to the Irish punt when it was their currency. Well, no, not at all, VSC, quite the reverse, because they did very well. I remember saying to the lady at the hotel, I'm going up to the north today. Could you change me some punts? She said, yeah, but I can only give you one for one. Is that okay? And I think she did very well on the deal. But I said yes, because it gave me a little bit of cash. Uh, Harry Wiseman, you need to go and grow up. Unionists won't give up the Union Jack. Well, they'll have to, Carol, because it will be passé. If you take away the blue background and the white cross, you know, then what are you left with? You know, a little bit of St. George and a little bit of St. Patrick. St. Andrew has <whistles> done one, as we say. The Welsh voted to leave as well. That's what I say. You know, four countries were dragged out of the EU, three against their will. Whoa! Scottish nationalists can't be independent if they join the EU. Well, of course they can, because the independence refers to independence from Westminster, not from Brussels. You can't seem to get your head around that. So you wanted to be independent. You see what I mean? If I wanted to be independent of my mum and dad, but I went to live with my granny and grandpa, yes, and was dependent on them, some people would say, ah, but you're not independent. You're staying with your granny and grandpa. Say, yeah, but I'm independent of my mum and dad. I mean, I wouldn't want to do that because they were beautiful people, but it's an example. Do you see what I mean? So that's two out of four. Can you not count? No. Wales, Scotland, and Northern Ireland. Right? Didn't want it. Uh, how are you, Scotty? Dinky do. So there we are. If the SNP went an independence party, 90% of the people of Scotland would vote for them. No, I think what you'll find is if the rest of the parties in Scotland, Tory, Labour, were independence parties, then people might vote for them. You see, isn't it interesting? Uh, you know, I mean, the lady that was in charge of Labour in 2014, if she'd phoned to... Um, Westminster and said to the Westminster Labour Party, guys, I'm sorry, but I'm going it alone and we're going to we're going to back independence, you know, and be true to our Labour roots, looking after the people, then uh, she would have been the first minister. You know, I'm pretty sure of it. What exactly is a hooray Henry? A hooray Henry is the mob. Right, it used to be a very, very, very well-known expression, VSC, but that's about 30 years ago. A hooray Henry is the mob that got us out of Europe by heavily, heavily funding the Leave campaign and convincing people it would be a good thing. When the government had already said remaining in the EU is the best thing for the UK. The SNP hate the English. No, they don't, Danny. There's no hate. Bully us. What's the difference leaving the UK to leaving the EU? Because Westminster take, Europe gives. Have you got it? Can you get your head round that? Yeah, they're not. You're comparing. It's apples and pears. You're not comparing like with like. The Westminster government operates incredibly differently to the EU government. All right. We want independence from the UK, but we don't want to be fully independent. 
Oh, yes, very good answer. We like that, big ants. Marvellous stuff. Who have we got? Um, now, unionists won't betray the union, Jack. Well, you're not betraying it. You know, the unionists will mean um, Northern Ireland and England. That will be the union. Yes, because the other two will have gone. You remind me of Anthony Hopkins. That's one of the finest compliments I've ever had. I'm a massive fan of Sir Anthony Hopkins. His acting is outstanding. And I also was a great admirer in the way he moved from theatre into films. Outstanding actor. Everything I see Anthony Hopkins in, I know will be outstanding. Whether it's Elephant Man, or whether it's Shadowlands, whether it's playing Donald Campbell, whether it's um, oh, all his movies, Remains of the Day, outstanding. Wow. So there we are. Danny, you've got it the wrong way around. The Tories hate the Scots. Well, they do because, you see, Scotland has never, ever, ever embraced conservatism to any great degree because conservatism is class-based and Scotland doesn't buy into the class system. That's the fundamental difference. And as I say, I'm apolitical. I'm just giving you the facts. Everybody in Scotland is equal regardless of their consumption of goods and services. Do you see what I mean? So, you know, we in Scotland make a massive point of talking to people regardless of what they do for a living. You know? And, uh, and I think that's what's wonderful about Scotland. One of the many, many wonderful things about the Scots, they are not phased by anybody's background, race, creed, or color. Because we're all originally from Ireland, but originally Africa. So there we are. Now, we Betty says, thank you very much, says Scott. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Hi, mate. So what do you think of the Germans? Well, we love the Germans because they also were our business partners in the EU. We sat at the big table and we were worldly wise and consulted. Now we're just nobody, really. <laughs> we're nobody. Uh, you still on at nine? Should be, Robin. Yes, absolutely, dinky do. I'm not sure how much difference the time makes on TikTok. I kind of decided because I still think slightly old fashioned in terms of live streaming, you know, and um, I'm not sure really how much difference it makes, you know, because it was a fabulous, fabulous morning from about just after 11 o'clock. In fact, I'd better push off. Do you know where the Basque country is? Of course I do. And um, am I not talking between the south of France and Spain? The Basques. Wonderful, wonderful people. The Basque people. Big up Scottish independence. No, no, I'm bigging up Scotland. There we are. That's what I'm doing. Yes, old boy. Which TV? Lovely to have you find this. Sir, I find this offensive. What do you find offensive? Do tell us. Yes, Rangers of Celtic. The Union Jacks only seen at sea. It's called the Union Flag Tenny. You're quite right. Although they did give special dispensation to say that you could also refer to it. This was from the Navy. They would allow people to refer to it as the Union Jack. But you're quite right. The Union flag, uh, unless it's flying from the Jack staff of one of Her Majesty's ships in the Royal Navy. There we are. We've got the facts now. UK flag's going to be very ugly without the blue. Figurative and metaphorically. I wondered if countries should have 
their own version of the flag. So in Scotland, the sort of dominant would be the St. Andrews over the red St. George. Do you see what I mean? So the white crosses would go over the St. George. What do we think about that? Independence is running your own country full stop. Well, Carol, you'd be running your own country within Europe. The UK was running its own country. All this stuff about losing sovereignty, borders, they were all made up by, uh, uh, you know, a shower of, um, what would you call them? Really, I suppose, very much a fascist view. You know, that sort of idea. The Welsh voted to leave. Yes, not by very much, Danny, I don't think there. I don't think that was uh, terribly overwhelming. So there we are, England and Wales wanted to leave. Yes, indeed. So there you would have Scotland and Northern Ireland. So two were completely against their will, and one was just on the just on the cusp in the groove. Do you like um, Ali's talking nonsense? Right, you're some man for one man. Stop waffling. Before we were independent, we were the poorest country in Europe. Hey, Tadig, you tell him la. Uh, do you have a dog? I did till two weeks ago. Do you believe in Jesus Christ or Lord? It's a yes or no question. No hate. Well, I think everybody believes in Jesus Christ, our Lord, regardless of their race, creed, religion, background, because Jesus Christ was a fact. So there you are. So you couldn't not believe in Jesus Christ. Are you down with socialism? Um, no, I'm apolitical, so I don't swing to the left or the right. I just give you the facts. You make up your mind. The EU does not give. They take your money and they tell you to spend it. Danny, again, you're talking pony. Go and check it all up. So there we are. Fantastic. Uh, wonderful. Can you say hi? Hi. Right, guys, I need to dash. Jesus is king. Repent all your sins now. Share the gospel on your page. There we are. Uh, Elia, um, that's your belief. Absolutely. And many others. So Scotland would turn into Ireland if independent. Well, Ireland is a superb country. I mean, absolutely outstanding. I don't think anybody would mind Scotland turning into a version of Ireland. I don't know how well you know Ireland, but it is quite outstanding, economically incredible, and uh, very, very clever, clever people. The Irish people, I can tell you. I mean, that's sweeping generalization, but nevertheless, fact. Do you have any good North mythology fact? Yes, of course. 1200s, the Battle of Largs, the Norwegians coming to Scotland. Absolutely, Robin. Lots of good North mythology. Up Helia, there we are in Shetland. Uh, I'm with you. You need to go and just grow up generally. Do you like cricket? I don't know why, but your voice is so heartwarming. Should I, should I um, umpire the cricket? Should I commentate? There we are, just going into bat now. And who's your favourite Bond actor? Oh, I love them all. I love them all. Um, you know, do you mean who was my favourite James Bond? Sean Connery is the king of the lot. But, um, you see, interesting, I quite liked uh, Timothy, um, oh, that did On Her Majesty's Secret Service. So there we are. Um, I thought uh, I thought he was very good as well. And um, who else did we have? Have I got the right one there? Um, love Judy Dench as M. Loved the old M's. So I loved Desmond Llewellyn as Q. John Cleese as Q. Wonderful stuff. Piers Brosnan, excellent. Roger Moore, of course. Loved Roger Moore. Roger Moore got a lot of comedy into his stuff. Very, very good. So there we are. Jonathan Price playing the uh, the news guy in uh, tomorrow's, uh, what was it? Tomorrow's News Today. What was the, the title for that one? You're some man for one man. So they are. Ireland seems to be flourishing within the EU, unlike the UK. Absolutely, Kevin. Absolutely. Anthony Hopkins has the same exquisite Welsh accent as Richard Button. Now, you see, 
I was a massive Richard Burton fan as well. Loved the guy. I can't believe he was taken from us so young. 57. You know, do you believe in Jesus Christ our Lord? It's a yes or no question. Is it a yes or no question? Or, you know, are there caveats? Yes, absolutely. So what are we actually believing in? What elements of Jesus? The Basque and Caucasus people are Scots and Irish, Scotty. Yes, indeed, Celtic people, the Basques. Wonderful, same sort of values. Absolutely. Right, everyone, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Guys, I'm going to have to push off. You must forgive me. It's been a privilege, an absolute joy to spend time with you this Saturday morning. Uh, hopefully we'll be around tonight at 9 o'clock Saturday evening. Please, please follow all the videos. Like all the videos. Follow me on here and tell everybody about the lies because this is going places. Thousands of you watch the lives and uh, it's just outstanding. It's so wonderful of you. Beautiful people. Right. Have a great, great... Can you say hi to Rita? Of course I can. Hi, Rita. Have a great, great Saturday. Uh, enjoy every second of it. Enjoy being you. Stay safe and stay fabulous. From me, Scotty McClue, Dinky Do, I'll sing you the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Auf Wiedersehen, au revoir, and a cheery o. If you miss this, I'll upload it to YouTube, the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Please go on and subscribe because there's 1,200 videos for you and they will all give you a smile. They're dinky-doo, ta-la-las.